All right, everybody, welcome back. We are finally in game. So that means we all get to suffer together. <laughs> so, Mac, how are you feeling about this game? How do you how are you feeling about this uh this top invade it looks like we're going to start with? Well, it's week one of the mid-league. I'm really excited to be back for season two here. We've got a lot of new faces, two of them premiering for us. Darkside going up against Degenerate Exiles. Pyrocryptic has got to be careful. Uh-oh. One Nautilus hook and he is dead. And it's going to connect the rune. Oh, no. First blood to crits the Yasuo. That is not what you want to see. That is... Oh, that's already a nightmare for Galio. But it's going to be even worse. So, oh. it's ideal for Dark Side, given that Yasuo a little bit of an edge. Uh, going into the Galio, I'm actually kind of favoring the Yasuo here. Sovereign, I feel like, is going to have to make a really large impact on the game. Uh, either helping out ganks, super easy gank setup, by the way, on the Yasuo. That's the oh, only bad thing about the matchup. Um, but like general laning, I feel like uh, Crits could could have a fun time. He's bringing Ignite, Sovereign with the teleport. We might see, and I mean he's got the dagger to start off with. So now suddenly I zoned Dark Side because of Crits. I'm hoping to see a big performance out of here uh, from him today. And on top of that, shutting down uh, the Moonstone champions a little bit. We see Pyrocryptic. He's going Cole in lane. He's going up against Coach on this Malphite. Not worried about a thing. We're going to be seeing these bot laners trade a little bit. We're going to see a pretty much snooze fest up there in the top lane. It's going to be like one Karma Q with one Malphite Q just trading constantly. You see, look at that. And then a shield <laughs> from Pyro to make, yeah. the, to make the impact of the trade non-existent. So, <laughs> I, I don't know if this is just me like lacking knowledge on Karma Top. Because I, yeah. I don't see it in my, my, my Bronze 2 games. Like, it's not, yeah. not, not from my seat. But uh, I'm very curious about that Cole start. Yeah. So, so I think because Pyro is going into the Malphite and he's going to be having his shield there, like, look, no threat at all yeah. from the Malphite until level 6, but we do got a gank here. Oh, we do got the gank for Zongi in the bot side of the map. It does look like Shockblade's a little bit caught out, and that's going to be second blood for the old scratch of Darkseid. That was a very uh, nice gank. Even just the threat of the Ivern Root was enough. But we have Jisoo, uh-oh, getting a little aggressive. Zongi being forced to shield himself. Crits the camera's is coming. All over the place, uh, in this. Crits is coming to the bottom side. Zongi is 2 HP. He's going to be smiting the Raptors to stay alive, getting the level 3. Here's Rice Lot too. Of Rice difference is going to hit the hook. Uh-oh, this is looking really bad for Jisoo. No flash! She's going to be able to use it. It's not going to work. Not getting over the wall. Sovereign a little bit in a sticky spot, but it doesn't matter because the Jin is going to save his butt. Rice difference, flashing forward, trying to get the auto, though it doesn't look like he's quite going to get it. Instead, using his E. Incredibly well played by the side of Darkseid. Yeah, really good rotations. Not the best invade there from Jisso on this Kindred. Yes, Zongi was super low and he almost pulled it off. I think he's, he tried flashing over the wall and kind of failed the escape there. That was a lot happening. Yeah around that in solid rotations from dark sign but overall you just lost shockblade there is a successful gank on the bottom side of the map jisu wants to make an aggressive play on the same side of the map there where they just lost number advantage you know before that play even happens best case scenario for degenerate exiles they get that pick on the ivern but it just didn't happen and Jisoo just overextending there for a play that I think was too over-aggressive to begin with. And Darkseid, this is exactly how they wanted this game to start off here. They're really, really worried about these support items coming online later in the game. When Jisoo and uh, Dwayne, Downey, I think is his actual name, he's using this account, ZX, ZX, blah, 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 the, all the... <laughs> For the Degenerate Exile uh, ADC, I guess kind of uh, a weird name to go with it, but nevertheless, um, they want to really just make this Jin as broken as possible with the move speed and the healing and the Lamb's Respite to keep him alive. Dark side, okay. just taking what's been given to them, having successful ganks, I really like how they've been playing so far. Exactly. I'm going to be completely honest. When I saw both Ivern and Kindred locked in, I physically squealed because I, I, I pulled myself up as a Nunu one trick because yeah, 
Nunu is basically the only champion I play, but when I'm not playing Nunu, I either play Ivern or Kindred. So I know both of these champions <laughs> extremely well. And all I'm going to yeah. say, with the first invade, I could see what was going on. So, like, I could, I, could, I could see what was going on in your head, but it just it didn't quite work out. And especially in an environment like this, where Yasuo can rotate first, and they also have a Nautilus, and they also have a Swain, and they just have so much peel for this funny tree guy. It's just, that invade's not in, like, in no universe is that going to work. Yeah, and now looking at where we're at here, as we approach the six minute mark, Zongi starting to take over the bottom side of the map. We already see control wards being placed around this dragon. Degenerate Exiles, they're down 1,000k gold, not the worst case uh, 1, possible. 1,000k? Yeah, 1,000k, dude. 1 million gold. No, just kidding. No way. <laughs> only only <laughs> a 1k crazy? gold lead at the moment, but we do see already crits has used this gold really effectively. Now able to roam, has that mid lane pressure. Makes it really difficult, actually, for Sovereign on this Galio to make roams himself when he's always worried about crits in the lane. Mm -hmm. I really, really Ooh, They're uh, gonna like try that. something here, though. Oh, uh-oh. Looks like Jisu and Sovereign are might be a little caught out. Rice Difference gonna be getting the hook. Oh, uh, that was so fast. My eye, I, I blinked and it was <laughs> over. Uh, okay, so I'm pretty sure Nautilus hooked and then Yasuo ulted. And Sovereign's a little bit caught out. Really nice dash from Crits, being able to block the uh, dash from Galio. That's going to be a one for nothing trade in the jungle. This game already is setting us up for what we're expecting to see with Dark Side for the entire rest of the tournament. Yeah, remember coming into this game, their quote that they gave uh, gave us for social media and for hyping up this matchup and kind of giving us some insight into what the team's thinking going into this series. They said anything but a 2-0 would be disappointing, and I think so far, they've certainly brought it on the rift, not disappointing at all, doing a really solid job here, getting picks, the vision control that I mentioned before, they knew that play was coming a mile away, that's why they were able to have a really solid rotation and catch out Sovereign and Jisu now on this Kindred, who needs and really wants to have a strong early game, getting them as many marks as possible, is just getting shut down, not ideal, for, de for Degenerate Exiles. Exactly. We really need the Kindred to get six as fast as possible because the seconds that Kindred gets six, suddenly Jin can basically do whatever he wants. Because he could like sit in the middle of the team and like ult and like point blank ult. And as long as they've got that Lamb's Respite, then he just can't die. We do have Jisu. Oh, maybe not going for a gank. Looking for the invade onto Zongi. Putting the pink ward down. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, a pretty solid look for the Kindred. Definitely wants to start messing with the Ivern a little bit. Make things uh, a little harder and at least try to track where Zongi is going. So far, they do kind of recognize that he's going to be heading down to the bot side of the map. We do see Sovereign a little bit of a window, potentially, to roam into this bot lane, but it's pretty hard to try to gank for the Jin and Seraphine. At least until level 6, you're not going to really be able to get a whole lot. That's kind of the weakness of this Degenerate Exiles composition. For the moment, we do have to keep in mind that this team... I think Valley put it really well in chat earlier. It's a counter-engaged team against an engaged team. Right now, Darkseid are able to play their strategy because the Generate Exiles, a lot of the pieces, a lot of the items aren't there yet. They're looking really weak, but trust me, it's going to be coming online. It's just whether or not Darkseid is going to build up a heavy enough advantage to kind of take over the game by that late game scaling point. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to scaling, Honestly, I think the Generate Exiles has it because we know for certain that Seraphine and Karma are both going to go uh, Moonstaff because that's just what you do. We have an engage in the bottom lane, actually. Shockblade, the really nice uh, Seraphine ult to be able to take him out of that fight. If he didn't have that, that was a dead Twitter model. Model influencer. <laughs> Influencer, yes. Pop sensation across the board. We do see Jisso trying to get 
one of his first marks of uh -oh. the game. Coach, what is this damage? Coach, what the actual hell is is this damage the lamb's respite forced to come out the hero's entrance forced to come out coach being forced to flash away crits oh look at the re-engage with the mouth fight uh yasuo as well is going to be able to come out he is four and oh crits is on a rampage make that five what is happening this game pyro is going to flash and get one for that but so far is a two for one and jisu is just barely going to make it out oh my gosh well part one of the Infinity Gauntlet of Degenerate Exiles team composition has come online. Pyro, ladies and gentlemen, has completed the Moonstone, Moonstone Renewer. One one Infinity Stone, we'll have to see if they make it to, <laughs> to pick up the rest, because crits in this mid lane, 94 CS, as we have just hit the 11 minute mark, 5-0-0. Zero, zero. In this Wombo Combo style composition, this is exactly who you want ahead. You want to be uh, getting those massive last breath ultimates off of the unstoppable force that's going to be coming from Coach and the other knockup sources. Crits, along with Zongi, I feel like is just going to take over the game from here. It's only a 3,000 advantage, but they've got bot lane pressure as well. I feel like they're going to be able to continue stacking these drakes. All Degenerate Exiles, I think, are going to be able to do is try to delay this game, maybe contest, and try to put yourselves in a good position to uh, fight over the Soul Drake, because I think we're going to see a gank here at least first in the top lane. Mm -hmm. Jisoo is going to be doing the engage here. He's going to be using the E. Not going to do too much damage. Uh, we do have Coach with the Bomby Cinder and Aegis of the Legion. So that auto attack, or those auto attacks, are not going to do... All that much damage, really. So, Kindred showing topside basically just guarantees a free dragon for dark side. And yeah, that's gonna and make the dragons 2 0. And we got the pressure. Zongi still sticking around. Cowboy could look. No, Daisy's just gonna be sacrificed uh -oh. to try to pick up that control. Look at this. We have they four in the have... lane. Yep. This is going Chris to be a hunting. dive. Oh, the Seraphine ult's really nice. It's what you like to see. Shockblade taking so much damage. He's going to be taken down due to crits. We do have the uh, curtain call coming out as well. Crits super low HP, flashing by his teammates to take up that fourth shot. Jisoo uh, taking... Or, I'm sorry. Jisoo re-engaging with... Oh my god, I'm having a brain fart in the middle of a fight. Of course this happens. <laughs> uh, either way... We do have Dark Side coming out on top in this fight, going two for o three for O, sorry, and they're not able to convert that into anything as they recently took the dragon. But I am hoping to see Zongi go to the top side on his respawn to take that Rift Herald. Dark Side so far, Cowboy are playing with their lead really, really well. Such a beautiful play there on the bottom side of the map to try to force that. They know this bot lane is really far behind, especially compared to where. Zongi and Crits are right now. We do see the Ivern getting that mythic item online, as well as Crits finishing the Immortal Shield bow. Everything's coming along very smoothly for Dark Side. And they're on an ocean rift. If they're able to get that ocean soul, even if the Infinity Gauntlet of items is completed on the side of Degenerate Exiles, I just don't think the ocean soul is going to be. Uh, something they can overcome in the late game, especially when they're dealing with a 7-0-1 Yasuo right now. But delaying the game in, in any way for Degenerate Exiles has got to be their goal. Mm -hmm. We have one Mythic for Dark Side that's not quite up yet, and that's going to be from Rice Difference. He's going to flash forward, get the hook. It's going to be Crits ulting the Glam's Respite coming out as well. Sovereign is too slow. His golem body is just too fat. It's not able to make it around that little rock fast enough. And that's going to be yet another kill for crits. This is an 801 Yasuo at 14 minutes. That is terrifying. Yeah, this has been a clinic right now from the dark side mid laner. I guess the dark side has been giving them some weak one powers because they're looking really nice so far in their first match here. Season two of mid league starting off uh, really nicely, I think. Some clean uh, macro moves coming through from dark side and they're gonna be able to, I think, pick up this Rift Herald with no issue. Sovereign gonna try to take it with his Q there. Not gonna be able to pull up uh, with, with anything there. 
So, we do see Zongi, Ivern, picking up that Rift Herald. Where do you think he's going to want to use it here? If if I were Ivern, I would definitely use it uh, in the middle lane. Because allowing that Yasuo to open up the map and just roam everywhere is just going to be absolutely crazy. Yeah, and I think Degenerate Exiles, it, it's going to be difficult, I think, to to try to come back into this one simply because look at Zongi's positioning. He is in the face of this Kindred, doesn't want to let any scaling come through from the blue side. They're going to be able to pick up the first turret oh. of the game for crit. That Rift Herald was 200 HP off from not hitting the turret. That would have been incredibly upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. We have Sovereign picking up those minions there. We have the next dragon spawning in... I don't actually have objective timers on. In 30 seconds. So, um, I'm really sorry to say, but we're, we are going to have to switch casters real quick. Uh, Max having a few issues and will not be able to continue, unfortunately. So... Here's my formal introduction to Hagunjin. Hello, hello. Here I am, and let's get on with the game. An absolute smashing from Darkseid. Um, again, uh, we said this before in the draft, but it just felt like Darkseid's comp was a little bit easier to execute, and they got up to an early lead, and Crits is just taking over the game on Yasuo at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have to say, and again, you want, always want to give both teams a fake sh fair shake. So if I did see any way that um, they could, the generates could come back in this game, I would say that maybe this Moonstone Renewer build, when it both gets online on the Seraphine and Karma, can maybe bring this Kindred back up to a decent power level to try to carry out this game. But again, we've seen just clean engages over and over and over again from coach on Malphite, good invades from Ivern, and it looks like the lead's getting out of hand, honestly, at this point. Three dragons at 17 minutes? Oh, it's it's getting bad. Exactly. The gold difference is just crazy right now. It's about upwards of 7,000, actually. That's just bonkers. I'm really excited to see if Darkseid uh, Dark, yeah, Dark will be able to convert this lead into the fat W or not. But we're just gonna have to wait and see. I do think that they they're playing this really well in terms of lane assignments. I really like the idea of sending crits into the bot lane because right now Baron's obviously not up, and there is absolutely zero people on this map that can deal with crits as Yasuo at the moment. You're gonna have to send an army after him, and if you do, then the rest of your team gets any objective they want in the top side. And in two minutes, Baron will be up, and obviously it's not a fast. Baron from the rest of the members of Darkseid, but if Crits buys you enough time, then again, an early Baron could be seen in this game. Mm, I definitely have to agree with you. If Darkseid can get this Ocean Soul, who do you think it would work best on? Obviously the Malphite, right? But do you think it has benefit to anybody else in the team? Ivor, Yasuo, Swain, Nautilus? I think Swain is such um Swain is a really strong drain tank at the moment. I played Swain AD carry a decent amount. Um and Swain, especially when he gets his second item, at that point he's pretty he's able to deal Ooh, they might be looking for a pick here. They're definitely like looking for a pick. Control. That's Daisy coming on out. Yellow Snow forced to use the Gale Force to get out of that sticky situation. And Jisoo is also not looking too hot. He is going to make it out as well. This is just absolute theft. Yeah, I mean, you can see 19 minutes in, they're inside the enemy team's blue side and red side jungle, and there's nothing that degenerates can do because they've just lost all control of that mid lane. There's nobody that can deal with crits. If crits leaves his lane, there's alarms blaring on degenerate side. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. He has left. <laughs> the man has left the building, and he is absolutely just dumpstering anybody that tries to face up against him. You can already see Jisoo has pretty much has to guard Sovereign in that bot lane. Because if he doesn't, again, 
a two item Yasuo on it. I think he's about at a 95% crit chance. He will absolutely decimate the game. It looks like he's probably going to take a little bit of a break. And again, two minutes until that Ocean Soul. And Swain becomes a big drain tank. Crits will almost become unkillable. And again, the Ivern shields plus the heals that he'll get. Ooh, a little bit of fighting? No, it's just top lane. <laughs> It's top lane. <laughs> yeah, that's don't top lane. Worry. I don't know what you were yep. expecting. So... Isn't it such a great lane? <laughs> uh, so useful. Anyways. Yes. Uh, we're not seeing mythics yet from either support. We don't have the Moonstone from Seraphine. We don't have the Locket from Nautilus. Once those two items are obtained, these team fights are going to be a lot harder for both sides. Specifically, it's pretty much gonna be impossible to kill anybody on dark side because you have to you know account that in and then you have to add ocean soul and then lock it uh, and then you have the moonstone ivor and it's like it's, oh, it's like damn i agree that it's gonna be hard to kill anybody from dark side but I, my biggest problem is that it doesn't feel like anybody on uh the generous honestly has damage galio is so far behind their biggest damage source this game was probably gonna be the kindred and the Jin. kindred probably gonna be the most consistent source of damage but he's so far mm -hmm. behind due to the rampant invading that we saw from zongi um again anytime they want dark side can really just push the gash force degenerates to fight them at ocean dragon with a 7000 gold lead and this ocean shoal should be pretty much dark size unless a massive outplay comes from the side of degenerates but we will see in 25 seconds i'm gonna be honest i'm not expecting any sort of outplay <laughs> no neither am I. <laughs> they are grouping worry. for a fight so they're not completely giving it for free if dark side gets this they just win the game like that's just, like period because yes, the will... entire team will not die. Like, at all. Team that- That's... Ooh, great. Oh, I thought they were gonna go for it. <laughs> I was expecting the rice difference to just- Uh oh! Well, I'm respite coming out a little early. Jisoo getting pulled Whoa. over the wall with a nice pass. If the hero's entry, it's gonna be coming in using the knockup. Not so much is gonna happen. The triple taunt, whoever he's gonna be taking out, that is going to be rice difference being able to take out. The curtain call is opening. Shock blade extremely Jisoo. low. Fire cryptic extremely low. That's gonna be the ult and a yellow snow from crits. This is a bloodbath! Ooh. Pyro Brit. is barely going to make it out with his life. Brit's playing a fat Yasuo in this team fight. Just was able to... He tanked a ton of damage and was able to deal all of it back. And again, we saw how hard it is for anybody on the Degenerates to make a dent on this team because the Yasuo Windwall was able to negate so much damage from Jisoo that he had to pretty much get in melee range to try to kill anybody. He killed Rice Difference, but that's it. Now the enemy team has Ocean Soul. They're going to go for the Baron and... Again, you don't want to call it before the fat lady sings, but she's singing. She is loud. Oh boy, yes yeah, she is. You know, I really like to say, game's never over until the shiny rock explodes, but I'm I'm kind of feeling this one's a little over before the shiny rock explodes. You know, I'm just 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 a little bit. That is going to be the Baron picked up for Dark Side. With an ocean Max, soul. Uh... Max wisdom from from beyond the beyond the cast. Ooh. I've transcended beyond a simple League of Legends cast. I've returned to showcase the knowledge. Pyrocryptic, a second infinity stone has been completed. He's got the staff of flowing <laughs> water. Maybe there's a chance. It's gonna be tough, and I I think degenerates might actually have to start worrying about maybe getting some grievous wounds online. Um, because there's just going to be so much healing from Dark Side at this point. Zongi has got uh, the the uh, Moonstone Staff combo online as well on the Ivern. Um, both of these uh, item duos, I think teams, uh, especially for at least the week number one here in the mid league, Cowboy are going to be going for this Whoa. build. We do have Coach missing the Unstoppable Force, uh, not being able to hit anybody with it. So that's going to be an ultimate that's not going to be up for the next fight. If there is going to be one, probably not. But, you know, it's worth saying. Crits getting collapsed on. I don't even think it matters. Maybe it does, actually. There's three to one. Crits extremely low HP. The shield bow is going to proc. Zongi flashing with the shield. Daisy coming on out. This fight has turned so quick. Crits is literally So much healing. What is it? Uh, yep, 200. Yep, he's going to ult people in the Lamb's Respite. Look at that damage, gonna dodge the charm. He's gonna flash over the wall, he doesn't have it. 
This is disgusting. That was so free. And one Ivern can completely save a life. They might be able to just 2v5 this on their own, Cowboy. Crits is having a career game to start off Season 2, and I think healing? he's just fine! What is the healing, dude? He, a, like, he has a shield bow. There's no BT or anything in there. He's legendary. What is that? He can one-shot the entire enemy team. If this isn't the definition of a carry, what is? Sleep on Zongi. Look, at, look at all those shields. <laughs> This is gonna be the quadra. No, old scratch is gonna take it. Goodbye, chances of a penta. Way to show off first game. Oh my gosh, 13, 0, and four. This is going to be the end of the game. Just period, flat. It's over. 25 minutes. Oh my gosh, dark side opening up this season. So strong. Mine. This is a, a best of two. So degenerate. They're going to have an opportunity to redeem themselves, but Cowboy, I do want to point out, pre-game, I'm not a bragger, okay? I don't brag. But, someone, someone on the pre-game show said one reason to, to Zonia's uh, dark side was the man in the mid lane, was Kritz, who, I, I think his name starts with M and, and might have been proven a little right in this first match. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, my mind is boggled. That is a fifteen thousand gold difference in a twenty-five minute game. What is that? Anyways, we are going to toss this back to the analyst while we set up the second game in this best of two. Whoo, Gungeon, I. I did not realize that earlier in the week, when I had my interview with Darkseid Crits, that I was talking to probably one of the players that would have the strongest performance that I have ever, ever seen in an opening league. I mean, this was absolutely domination, decimation from start to finish, and it was the Crits show. It was, it was, it was the crit, Crits and gang there, uh, just absolutely dominating Summoner's Rift. I mean, we saw at the end of it, Crits and Zongi pretty much just 2v5 the team. Crits was taking the inhibitor tower while four people were shooting at him. Imagine, you're trying to take down a building. Four people just are blasting at you. You're like, let me take the building down and let me deal with you guys after the fact. And Crits just absolutely shellacked the enemy team. And again, I think Darkseid just went into it with a great game plan. Again, I mentioned was that there is a lack of damage without Jisoo and the Jin getting ahead. And... The early game invade, they get the early kill on crits, and any time Jisoo tried to contest a scuttle crab early on, you saw that both of the lanes walked up, and with the amount of CC that this team on dark side has with the Swain, with the Nautilus, if Jisoo got caught by a single CC, he was getting pulled, he was getting Nautilus hooked, and he was dead. And so they just took over this game, and at a certain point, there was nothing that Degenerates could do because they just lacked damage. I mean, it absolutely was. And, you know, to start this game off, I really, really like Darkseid's mental there. You know, they go in there 5v1 up towards the top side for that early invade. And obviously, you know, we talked about this in, in the draft, right? You have this composition that just has so many tools where you can easily execute and set yourself up. And they were spoon feeding crits, kill after kill after kill after kill. This guy had five kills at 11 minutes in the game, not to mention the two early kills he got, uh, you know, with the, the first blood and also the rotation to get the ball rolling for this vital carry. I mean, we, we knew that this was where all the eggs in the basket were placed for the side of dark side, and they executed absolutely perfectly, getting that mid laner massively ahead. This allowed him to roam heavy and dominate the mid game. It transitioned where Jisoo basically was punished every time he walked into his jungle. Uh, I, I really just don't even know what to say. I mean, you, you kind of look at the situation and you say, you know what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm baffled. I'm uh, baffled. They, they just did everything that they needed to do to make sure that this one player could carry. And this is actually what I really, really like to see as well is, yes, Darkseid was massively ahead going into the 20-minute mark. They end up getting the soul right around 22, 23 minutes. And then I remember sitting in the analyst desk while we're watching this game and saying to myself, now I want to see this team close out. I want to see them close this.